They took the 10,000 year old mummified remains. The 10,000 year old mummified remains. Got at least cave back here. Got at least cave back here. And took them to the university. And they were there for 50 years. And when the law and NACPA came, and I went through that thing, looking at it, and I told the council, I'm gonna go get that stuff. I'm gonna see if these guys really mean what the law says. NAGPRA is the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act. It was passed in 1990, primarily to uh, remedy a situation that tribes had discovered that the remains of their ancestors were on museum shelves. It's easy to just think, oh, it's just another law. But once you actually start working with the people who this affects, it, it's really powerful. I went up there and I told them, I want that stuff returned for reburial. Phone calls, letters from all over the country came to my office. You can't do that. But they're there to be studied. They're there to educate you know, people. They want to do studies on They want to know how we were alive. How come they didn't ask me? I'm still here. I'm part of this. How come they didn't ask me? I'm still here. I'm part of this. Ask me, not looking and disturb the bones of my ancestors. They don't belong stashed in some shelf in a museum or a university or somewhere else because they belong here and it helps the tribes. It gets us back on track on who we are. They got them back and we repaired them. These were people, like it's no longer just the history books that we're looking at. We're looking at actual people and their modern descendants. You know, we can never totally erase what was done in the past, um, but the fact that we're moving together and we're seeing other, each other's point of view really is healing things. This world is very different from your world. People may think, well, why do you want to bury them? Like, their way of thinking. But for us, it's not like that. That's where the respect comes in for your ancestors. That they have to have their stuff. They need to be buried back so they can continue their journey. Because as long as they're floating around out there in somebody's university or somewhere, they're not going to be at rest, and that causes problems throughout our lands. A great analogy people say is, well, would you want someone going and you know, digging up your grandmother. And it's very similar to them because they are their ancestors, they are their family. Very distant family, but they are their family. And a lot of tribes have a very, very strong link to their family. They're still around here waiting for that stuff. Until they get it back, until they're buried with them, and they'll be on their way.